Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Talks. Today we're here to talk about why ENFJs love ENTPs with ENFJ Diane. Would you like to enlighten us on your reasons for loving this type? Sure. Um, so I don't know what's not to love about an ENTP. I guess <laughs> ENTPs are, um, they're so random for starters. Just, just the things that, that they say, the things that they do, they're so random. And, and coming from my perspective, so many of the things I do most often have a purpose. And so to see almost the freedom and the joy that a lot of ENTPs um, display with the way that they just engage in the world and in, in whatever strikes them, um, it's, it's refreshing. Um, and I don't know, I suppose, you know, in a working environment that could be, that could be a little bit frustrating and, and hard, but, um, just in general, in a, in a fun setting, like I would love to have just a whole group of ENTP friends to just hang out with and just see what happens. <laughs> There's no predicting. It's just get in there and, um, and see what happens. And then the other side of it, is is when you have an ENTP who has taken the time to develop their TI, they are so good at describing things, at articulating um, their thoughts. And I just think that that's amazing. Having inferior TI, being able to really articulate a thought in a clear way is such a cool thing to me. It's something that I'm, um, you know, very concerned about. I feel like I don't explain myself well. And I'm always asking, did I explain myself well? Was I clear? Um, and so I, I love, I love a good, well-developed TI in an, in an ENTP. Yeah. So it seems like you really like ENTPs for their ability to be unpredictable. So it's kind of relaxing and it's kind of refreshing to see someone who thinks so differently than you do. And they also help refine and sharpen your introverted thinking and they help you think more clearly and clean slice your thoughts. Yeah. And so with the series that I'm making, I'm going through the people who have been on my panels and asking them what their favorite type is. And so for Diane, it's ENTP. And she has a son who is an ENTP. And so I'm wondering about what do you love about your ENTP son? A lot of the things I, I um, described already, but also, you know, with someone as close to you as your son, you really get to see their backseat functions too and the tender parts of them. And so I see how, how much it's important to him in his friend group to really be a good friend. And he's always considering all of his friends' feelings. And, and if I invite this person, how will this person feel? And, um, you know, there's there's that consideration of the group and the group's feelings that I think is, is so nice to see in, um, especially in a male, I suppose. So now I'm getting into some of the stereotypes as well. But um, that piece of him is just, it's its such a, a I, I just love that that part of him, how considerate he is of of his friends and how everyone's being impacted by by whatever they're, they're going to do, especially when it comes to getting people together. Um, that's something that's really important to him. Also, he's getting ready to go off to college. Um, we actually leave very, very soon. Um, and it's been, it's been touching to see his, his SI coming out in a way that he's really starting to miss already before he's even left his home. So that inferior SI, to see that coming out in him in such a tender way as he's starting to separate from home, because we've provided the structure for him where he has gone to school in the same town. He's had the same group of friends throughout most of his life. Um, and you, you see that inferior SI coming out as he's starting to leave. He's going to go out of state to college. Um, none of his friends are going with him. And so he's excited and he's ready to jump in and explore that new place. But he also comes to me and he's, He's also a little bit fearful in that he's going to leave everything he knows behind. Um, he's not going to have any of those friends that he knows. He's going to have to develop some of those, those new friendships. And I think a lot of people view ENTPs as just like novelty all the time and, and sometimes debating. And, and that's not what you see when you're their mom. 
you know, you see those, those backseat functions, you see those, those, um, those tender parts of an ENTP when you're, when you're mom. Um, and I love those parts too. The more you get to know an ENTP, they reveal those sides too. And they're really awesome. Yeah, that's so true. You're being privileged to see a side of them that they don't show to many people. And so they're letting down their guard with you. And that's really sweet. And it's, it feels special. It's vulnerable and they don't do it with everyone. With ENTPs, what I notice is that sometimes they withhold parts of their more tender emotional sides from people. And so if you're able to see that, they've let you in. They've let down quite a bit of their guard. It feels like a special moment to share, to see their extroverted feeling. And so thank you, Diane, for coming out and discussing the beauties of loving an ENTP and your son too, and how it's been like. And so I hope y'all like that little warm, fuzzy session and I'll see you all in the next episode.